Working with software projects in different businesses, I often encounter this one that is owned by multiple teams or simply by nobody. What usually happens with these over the years? Bits and pieces of functionality are getting slapped on top of each other with minimal possible effort. Thing is that each layer of such changes makes the code harder to understand and fix if need be. So how do professionals deal with such a problem? Hi, I am Smok and this is Quick Answer. Big ball of mud, or as we call it behind the curtain, the headache. It is an architectural anti-pattern that you can observe in some systems. It is often introduced unintentionally, but in some niche cases, it can be beneficial to go for it. Before I explain why, let's discuss what it really is. When designing a system, whether it's a monolithic single application or a distributed mesh of microservices, we choose some structure for it. This means we establish some critical rules and guides on how we intend to build the system and extend it. Good architecture specifies what system is, what is it for and how it should look like. It outlines system entities, their form and function. It will determine the system's boundary and it will describe relations between the entities of the system. It may mean that some services won't be able to talk to each other directly, or that data flows in some direction, but not the other. It may mean there will be some overhead, more work or tasks that are coincidentally the same, but serve a different purpose. Such heavy restrictions are limiting the speed in which the project is built and extended. But at the same time, they allow us to keep things in order. This exact order is the whole value of the great architecture. Here is the thing. Big ball of mud occurs when we give those rules up. Our components are free to share data however they want, introduce low-level optimizations to high-level code, extend the functionality outside of the context they are part of, and ignore any boundaries. Main characteristic of this anti-pattern are poorly defined domain, mandatory direct communication and clustered deployment. Let's begin. Poorly defined domain means that it's hard to tell exactly what the component is about. Its access points do not require all necessary data to process a task, thus leading to reaching to other components for all required information, introducing data interference. Mandatory direct communication means not using message or event-driven communication. If most tasks or all tasks have to be communicated directly, there is a problem. Services are tightly coupled to each other and require a lot of details to connect. As we know, details are volatile. Clustered deployment. <laughs> this is especially visible with microservices. These are the ones that have to be deployed with another microservice or they break. This makes for a perfect environment for chained failures to propagate throughout the system. When one puzzle goes missing for a few seconds, the whole solution crashes and burns. Avoid big ball of mud if you're shipping a project that is sufficiently defined. Ditching architectural rules only makes sense if you're already planning a rewrite or you're using this system as a discovery of the actual project requirements. This will allow you to write a lot of code fast, but you need to plan to come back and make amends. Remember, unpaid tech debt is like all debt. It will grow interest and one day you will have to pay. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.